Hey, hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I apologize for, for a little bit of a gap between my last video and this one. Um, it's been pretty chaotic. I'm getting married in two weeks and uh, it really snuck up on us. <laughs> um, so we've been, we've been spending a lot of time planning that and uh, really just buckling down and getting the details done for, for the wedding. But uh, today, I, I got this figure yesterday. I'm really pumped for it. I can't wait to show, show you guys. It is Clone Commander Wolf from the Black Series, six inch scale. This is a kick ass figure. Um, not unlike that Rex we got not not too long ago. I got this from a seller on eBay, uh, Freeman Toys. Costs a little bit more than normal, but that's okay. Um, I don't care. Um, there's a bit of a write up on the back. I'll read that out. His Clone Commander Wolf, Clone Designation CC3636, served in the Clone Wars as a commander of the tight-knit unit known as the Wolf Pack. A seasoned and battered combatant, Wolf has witnessed some of the worst the war has to offer. Despite tragedy, he fights on bravely, proudly brandishing his battle scars and instilling loyalty among his men. So that is the box. Um, yeah, I'm so pumped to have this figure. It is absolutely outstanding. Um, they're knocking these troopers out of the park. My little backboard just fell down. Um, yeah, that Rex that we got recently was absolutely outstanding. And this guy is just... I wish that would stay down. Stay up. <laughs> Let's get a close-up look of Wolf's face. Now, this is obviously his uh, Phase 2 armor. Same as we, how we got Rex and how we've had Gree and Cody. Um... Now I really want to see a Cody update. I really do. I know um, JCC2224 would love a Cody update. <laughs> um, Cody's a sick figure already, but to update it with the uh, head sculpt would be would be sick. And we saw Wolf in a few different variations in the Clone Wars. He had uh, his sort of Republic Admiral sort of outfit early on. And we saw him in armor. Um, phase one armor then he had a repainted phase one armor and then he of course ended up in this we also saw him in like a desert i think it was a desert style sort of clone armor we got a figure of that in the three and three quarter inch black series so we've definitely had a few wolves um we've had a couple of figures we've had two or three wolf figures so this would be the fourth i think don't quote me on that but uh, yeah, this is outstanding. Um, as far as I know, this will be available. I, I'm hearing rumors of early May. Other people are saying it's August. Um, so I can't actually confirm that myself when it'll be available in stores. Um, more than likely won't be in stores here in Australia. We, we just don't get exclusives, which is a bummer. So um, even more reason to be excited to pick this one up considering we don't get them in stores. Um, we get we get a very rare rare amount of exclusives down here, so it's cool. It's cool to have these ones that don't come out. So um, yeah, apparently GameStop and I believe it was Disney stores. We're gonna pick this one up. Um, so I, I, again, I can't confirm that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, yeah, let's have a close look at his helmet. So we'll look at his helmet. Good looking helmet, nice weathering. It's got the wolf, wolf pack logo. The side, you can sort of see the jowls of the wolf and the ears at the top. One of my favorite clone hel helmets is this design. Same as our Commander Bukhara. Again, we've got this range finder, which is another reason to really re do another Boba Fett so we can have the range finder. Did that move? I can't remember. I'm just thinking about it now. I can't remember if it moves. No, I'm blanking. Maybe it didn't. I'm not sure. But a really nice helmet. Fits on nice and snug. But again, that face paint apps that they're doing, that photo reel effect is... Uh, that's awesome. Love a big scar. fits on awesomely just gonna 
that sort of decal on his on his shoulder. The only thing I have had to do this figure is the uh, little antenna wasn't painted. That was just the same blue grey colour as his armour. So I just had to use a bit of silver, silver sharpie. Wolfpack logo. It's got two of these blaster pistols, same ones that came with Rex. Um, Sci-Fi asked me on Instagram whether he came with the rocket launcher that he has in previous figures, and unfortunately he doesn't. Um, oh my god, this little backboard thing is frustrating me. I need to stick that up properly. <laughs> But in terms of the clone armor, it is uh, it's the same as Captain. No, it's not the same as Captain Rex because he had the weld lines. So it's a uh, yeah, it's the same clone body that we've had throughout, minus these sort of shoulder bells, which uh, that was the same as Cody, I think. They might even be a little bit different. I'm just I've got the clone other clones sort of sitting next to me, so I can sort of look at them detail wise. So yeah, they're they're a little bit different. Yeah, they're a different cut. They're a different shape. So that's a reasonable. That's a new piece, I think. That makes that. Um, but yeah, in terms of, the, I think I'm pretty sure the clone body is all, all new. Ah, sorry, all old. <laughs> it's got the same belt and holsters as Rex. Same karma as Rex. Different color, sort of trim. Just love that colour. Wolf is rad. Now Hasbro, we just need a Plo Koon to go with this guy. Weathering all through his armour. He's pretty good on the back. Grr. So definitely another knockout figure from Hasbro. I'm definitely excited to share this one with you guys. So articulation wise, he has the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, double jointed elbows, ball hinged at the wrists. Uh, he's got the torso joint, ball hinged at the hips, swivel thighs, double jointed knees and the hinged ankle so you get a full range of articulation with this guy which is fantastic um you know, I, was, I was never a big clone nut but seeing these in six inch form is just absolutely amazing and i hope we get more echo fives bly um yeah some of those order 66 clones would be so good like we've got Gree, but if we get Bly, um, start giving him some more prequel stuff, that'd be so good. And clones are so easy to do. They've got all the molds, they've got everything, just a few little tweaks. Would not take much at all. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and if you want to follow me along on Instagram, you can check it out on at the forces with Jesse. Um, and at Facebook, you can find me there under the same headline. I think I'm pretty sure I've got links down in the uh, description below. So check that out. Go and give me a follow there. And you can uh, see a few more updates than I do put on here on YouTube. So thank you very much for all your support. I always appreciate it. Until the next video, guys, may the force be with you.